Aim trainers, something you probably heard about if you suck. Our first contender is going to be Aim Labs. For the nice price of free, it's a nice choice if you're just starting out in the aim field. But as Robert Downey Jr. said, You in full retard, man. It doesn't really excel in anything, but that doesn't mean it's a bad choice. The problem only start appearing once you enter. It's clunky UI, lack of advanced scenarios, and the whole noob feel surrounding it. I mean, just look at this tab. Where the fuck am I supposed to click? Here, here, or here? Huh? This is likely due to its free-to-play nature and anime skits. It does, however, greatly highlight beginner scenarios that are great for noobs like you. Yeah, if you want to stop yourself from getting wrecked, do consider hitting that sub button. Now, I actually wouldn't put too much faith on it trying to analyze your aim, as I already have the results. It says you suck. Now I'll give you credit where credit is due. They're actually trying, innovating, and making new scenarios. Trying to push the whole genre farther. And I actually respect that. The problem is that the scenarios they're creating and innovating is mainly in the static field. The rest are just copies of existing Kovac scenarios. But unlike your job, at least they're working on it. I wish they'd highlight harder scenarios and fix their way of downloading and finding new scenarios. I have to go through so many tabs, it's almost like the UI is an aim trainer itself. Another thing is better categorizing. Sorry, you want to find a small smooth scenarios? No, tracking. Oh, you want to find a larger reactive bot? No, tracking. Similar to your wife, the longer you stay with her, the more problems begin to appear. For its beginner focus, it would benefit the new people to understand the terms we use and why we practice certain areas. But as you'll see, this is a common issue across all aim trainers and not just this one. Please sponsor me. To be fair, it does have all the features you need, like sense randomizer, a playlist finder, and skins, which is something Kovacs lacks. But sadly, its executions leaves much to be desired, and creating playlists are such a pain in the ass that it reminds me of my uncle. Just playing the whole thing going from scenario to scenario is like me, too large. And they would benefit from making the UI simpler and cleaner, like Aim Beast would be a great start. Less is more in this scenario. In short, Aim Labs is a great starting point and with a great eye to improve. It's far the most popular, but don't let that cloud your judgment as a lot of it is money talking. Overall score, 6.5 out of 10. I will say, as of making this video, Aim Labs Plus has been released and is definitely a game changer and worth looking up to in the future. This brings me to my main hoe, Kovacs. What the fuck is that? Maybe you can read, probably not, but my name is indeed for banger Kovacs make a fucking crosshair generator already. I have to go online, create a crosshair that isn't representative of what I see, download it, name it, find the Kovacs folder it's supposed to go on and export it there. All for the price of $10. Seems like a bargain to me. Crosshair generator aside, this is where you'll find the highest quality and quantity of scenarios. It's infinite versions of different scenarios exist and it's like a beautiful ocean. But a beginner can find it hard to find their footing. It doesn't do a good job of teaching beginners or highlighting scenarios for different skill levels. Unlike Aimlab's UI, it's actually clean, but everything else is fuck. Game freezes, crashes, the UI is simply not loading in, Kovacs is like the old man waiting to get an erection. It's nice when it happens, but everyone else is just left feeling scared. I know it's easier said than done, but if you don't fix this buggy mess, people will are eventually going to leave. They're already leaving for things like sponsorships and money piling out out of Aimlab. Kovacs would actually benefit from more marketing and picking up an aim group. Work together, put some money out so you can put some money in and fix your damn engine. Try to work on adding new features as Aimlabs is currently outworking it. Things like Sense Randomizer or even Aim Beast's noise pitch, which increases the pitching sound the more you hit it, just like your girlfriend. I'd love to see Kovacs follow the routine of Aim Labs where they spotlight scenarios and try to create unique ones. Newer players shouldn't have to go to external source for playlist theories and information on how to actually play. Update your UI to create a beginner, intermediate, and an advanced tab where you highlight different scenarios and playlists in rotations with videos explaining and showing different scenarios on what they're made for. Overall score, 8 out of 10. Now, Aim Beast is the one I have the least experience on, but I will say it's pretty interesting. <laughs> it has all the features you need, but sadly it lacks a community behind it. That shit is drier than your mom's. It comes with a unique arena mode, which is a 1v1 aim-based PvP mode and will show you how much you actually suck. Now it's pretty cheap and it comes with easy to find skill levels, playlists and scenarios. Now it's feature packed but sadly that's also where it's lacking. More so than our other contestants, Aim Beast is only $5 and you get a whole 5 scenarios for it. I do benefit, 
I do believe it. <laughs> I do believe it will benefit from looking at aim labs which hires in map creators, adding a ton of scenarios each month and spotlighting them again, similar to how aim lab does it. Adding and creating playlists also needs a bit of refine, and only Kovacs has gotten this simple yet effective process right. Honest. I pay Kovacs, pussy! It does, however, have a great quality of scenarios, meaning they're very unique and actually useful in game. If you want to challenge yourself here, there's plenty to go around. It has all the settings you need, but as of this video, lacks variety in scenarios, but hopefully that'll change in the future. Overall score, 7.5 out of 10.